Hello friends, a uh, quick video on using iteros. Old dogs can learn new tricks. I'm talking about myself here. I use iteros all the time. And uh, there is, uh, if you transfer it to a dictionary, it is lightning fast compared to using iteros directly. So first off, what is iteros? Iteros is simply a uh, function in, in the pandas data frame that allows you to loop row by row and it returns the entire row so you can do all sorts of experimentation and research. I say research because if you're using iteros in a production or you know for a script for automation script, you probably shouldn't be using iteros. You should be using group buys or you should be doing you know vector math where you can you know uh, you can do a lot of complex math uh, with one series against another series and it's all optimized. So it'll be always faster than iteros. Iteros is super slow and that's why I did I'm doing this video. So uh, let me let me show you the itero way and then we're going to look at this other way and we're going to compare speed. You, you're going to be blown away. I'm going to use data from this site called excel and they offer fake um, uh, sales data up to 1.5 million rows of sales data so i'm gonna i'm actually gonna go with the 50,000 ones i'm downloading it to my machine um you can do the same thing uh the site is there and the uh the code is always uh there's a link uh, in the description of the video for the code you can get everything you want here so uh here um, uh, I'm going to, I've already downloaded the, the data on my local machine. It says 50,000 50, sales records. Let's load that in. Now we have it. Let's take a look at it. Um, we can see that, uh, you know, it's just, it's just fake. It's random data. Uh, you have, you know, country profit, whatever. We don't really care. We just want a lot of rows of data. So this is the iterate, the itero way. So basically I'm going to, uh, I just need to do something. So I'm going to collect the country and I'm going to put them in a list, right? You got to do something. So that's definitely something to do. Uh, and so here, how you, this is how you do itero. You take your data frame. In my case, it's called fake underscore sales the underscore data dot iteros. It's that simple. It returns an index and a row. So the index of the row and all the row as a um, as a uh, string. Uh, and let, let actually, you know what? We're, let's let's let me just take a quick look in case you're new to uh, this function in pandas. Uh, let's just look at the first row. I'll do a break here. And uh, We just need to copy this too. There. And let's look at R. So R returns basically one row of all your data by the name. So item type, household, uh, you know, unit price, 668, blah, blah, blah. And the I is simply the index of the row, in this case, index zero, right? So it's a very convenient way of kind of looking through each row. Uh, now let's do this. So we're gonna go through 50,000 rows. I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna use the uh, time it dot timer function. And it's simply wrapping that function where whatever I wanna measure in, in this timer call. So we can, you know, so it can take exactly when it starts to when it ends and return a time. Let's run this. So 50,000 rows looping through each and then appending that country from the uh, from the row to a list. Look at that. It took 7.9 seconds. So, right, again, this is, I, I usually work in the millions and millions of rows, so I have had my iter row sometimes run for, you know, hours. Definitely not the way to go. So now the fast way. We take our data frame and we simply do dot to dictionary and you can give it an arbitrary name. It doesn't matter. It can be whatever you want. Uh, this is actually a tip I got from a colleague in India, from my office in India, Samyukta, thank you. Uh, so I'm using it exactly the way she had it. And you simply take fake, uh, your data set, translate it to a dictionary, and uh, you pass it as your dictionary copy. Same thing. Then you can uh, iterate through it same way. Instead of the index in the row, you, all you get is the row in this case. If you wanted the index, you could do a counter of some sort. And that's it. And you can still access it by calling r dot the, you know, the, the field name of that row. And let's see the time difference. One, one point one second. I mean, it is night and day. So this is a very simple trivial example with fake data. I, my, my stuff, I do my EDA on my research on is usually, you know, hundreds of features and millions of millions of rows. So this stuff is night and day. I really recommend if you have to use it rows, do this to dictionary. I, I love it. It's a lot, it's a lot faster. So again, my name is Manuel Amunategui uh, from the viral ML show. You can go to viral ML, V I R A L M L.com. You'll have all my videos. This one will be uh, classified under data science here on at the data science button. 
you can click it there and you'll have all my other videos on data science and don't forget i have my classes here just click on the classes button or here and also a lot of free uh, udemy classes if you want to take some you know quick introduction to data science i have a series here uh you can get all that information go to viralml.com thanks for watching